For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the velocity of a particle traveling along a straight line is given by v is equal to 6t minus 3t squared meters per second, where t is in seconds. S is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. So they're giving you a nice initial condition at t is equal to 0, s is equal to 0. Determine the particle's deceleration position when t is equal to 3 seconds. How far has the particle traveled during this 3 second interval and what is its average speed? So, you know that the acceleration is given by the derivative of the velocity. So when you derivate the velocity, you get that the acceleration is equal to negative 6t plus 6. So the acceleration when t is equal to 3 comes out to be negative 12 meters per second square. That's it for the first part. Now we need to find a position. So you know that the position is the integral of the velocity over time. When you integrate 6t minus 3t squared, you get that this is equal to 3t squared minus t cubed plus c. We need to find c, this constant, but we're given an initial condition. We know that s is equal to 0, s is equal to 3t squared minus t cubed plus c. When s is 0, and t is 0. So it's 3, 0 square minus 0 cubed plus c. So when you solve for c, you get that c is equal to 0 also. This means that the formula for the position is 3t square minus t cubed. So at 3, it is equal to 0. Now, they're asking us how far has the particle traveled during this 3 second interval. And for that we need to find when is v is equal to 0 first. v is equal to 0 when 6t minus 3t squared. Whenever they're asking me when is an equation is equal to 0, I like to factorize it. It makes it much easier, much more intuitive. So basically I'm going to factor out the 3t and I'm going to get the 2 minus t. And as much easier. When is this equal to 0? This is equal to 0 when t is 0 or when t is positive 2. So they're asking us from 0 to 3 how far has how much has the particle traveled. So we need to find at 0, at 2, and a 3 because we have a 0 in between the two numbers. So when t is 0, s is 0. When t is 2, s is 4. And when t is 3, s is 0 again. So from 0 to 4, we moved 4. And from 4 to 0, we moved 4. When you add them up together, you get that the total displacement is 8 meters and I mean the total um, distance traveled by the particle is 8 meters. Now if you want to find the speed, the average speed, you get it by doing how much we traveled divided by the amount of time that we were traveling and this is an interval from 0 to 3 so it is 3 seconds and it comes out to be 2.667 meters per second. So this is the average speed, this is how far the particle has moved, and this is the acceleration, final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.